Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for a Valentine's Day! <laughs> hey! I am super excited to be doing this makeup tutorial because this is very different for me and my channel. Like, you know I'm always looking for an excuse to do like a banging smoky eye or something super dramatic, but that's just my style. Like, we all have our thing and that's definitely my vibe. But today I wanted to do something a little bit more subtle, very feminine, but yet very glam, ultra girly. So I am super excited about this look. I did not think I was going to love it as much as I do. I feel like I want to live in this look right now. I am crazy about it. So I have had this in mind for quite some time, ever since this Tartlet palette came out by Tarte Cosmetics. I ordered it on Sephora and as soon as it got to my house, I immediately knew the look I wanted to do. But I was like, we're gonna wait till Valentine's Day because I feel like it's just very appropriate and idealistic for Valentine's Day. Such a girly, feminine holiday. And of course, you guys can, you know, do a smoky eye and like a banging red lip or like hot pink, like very sexy. But I wanted to do something a little bit more of a laid back kind of casual sexy. And let me just say, sometimes I get a little uncomfortable using the word sexy on camera. Moving on. I hope that you guys enjoy this look. It is craziness for me because I left my lower lash line blank and you know I always smoke out my lower lash line and I always put my mascara on my lower lashes. So not doing that step, I felt kind of naked at first, but I'm definitely getting used to it. But I did that because I wanted to give the eyes a squinty, more girly effect, which I think just, it's just so pretty. This look would look good on so many people. You of course adjust it to your own needs, your own face. You can take steps away. You can add steps. You do you boo. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know what your plans are for Valentine's Day down below. If you have any in the comment section, I would love to know what you guys are up to. John and I, we have decided just to hang out by ourselves at home. We're going to cook dinner together and we'll probably end up eating a box of chocolates, passing out on the couch, watching a movie because that's just how we do things around here. We're always looking for an excuse just to sit around and do nothing and just hang out because we're both definitely homebodies. We don't go out and do like events a lot. We just like spending time alone. So that is what we will be doing. So let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day and I hope you enjoy this video. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. So I am going to be using the Tartlet palette to create today's look. And the first shade I'm going to be using is Super Mom. It's this really nice matte vanilla color. And I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and putting that all over my entire lid. My eyes have already been primed, but I'm going to pack this color on all the way from lid up to brow. Because we're going to be using all matte shadows today, this will help everything blend out and not stick to our base. Then I'm going to go in with Force of Nature. This is a really great beige transition shade. I am using an M502 brush from Morphe and I am taking this and predominantly putting it in the upper crease area going up towards the brow. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Force of Nature and put that right over top. Basically, we're going to start off light and we're going to go one shade darker, darker, and darker to create a really nice three-dimensional kind of soft cut crease. So I am going back in with the same brush as before and just packing that right over top in windshield wiper motions. Then I will go in with the shade Best Friend, which is a really pretty cool tone, kind of mauve purple shade. And now I exchange out the M502 for the M503 by Morphe. I am loving these new brushes that they came out with. I think they're amazing. So as you can see, I'm putting that a little bit tighter and denser in that crease. I'm not going as intensely above the crease with this, but I will continue to go back and blend everything out because I don't want anything harsh. I want this to be nice and soft. Then I'm going to go in with Bombshell, which is a very dark, true, cool tone purple color. And using any angled brush, I'm going to just really put that tightly only in the outer corner of my eye just to really carve out that crease. You can use any angled brush you want. I'm pretty sure this is a brow brush, but you do you. And then, of course, I will go back and blend it out because I don't want this look to be too harsh. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite color from this palette, which is the shade Caregiver. I love this as an all matte palette overall, but I love the shade specifically because it's such a pretty, very ultra pigmented matte kind of baby doll pink shade. I think it's so feminine and so flattering. So I'm using an E55 brush from Sigma, which is ideal to pack a color like this on all over the lid. I am taking this all the way to the outer corner. And then I will go in with a pencil brush and I barely have any product on this, just a little bit of the shade Best Friend. I'm gonna slightly carve out that crease one more time. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner. I am using a Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Liner and I'm going to carve out a wing liner and then fill that in. You do not have to do a wing. This is what I'm comfortable with. You could do no liner. You could just do a little thin liner, but I chose to do a wing because that's just me. I'm going to go back in with the shade Super Mom and just put this on the brow bone. I didn't want to do a shimmery brow bone highlight because we have an all matte eye. I kind of wanted to stick with that matte look and just do a natural highlight. I'm going to be using Blinking Butte Lashes, which are my new lavas, and this is in the number six. I love these lashes. Look at 
look, just look, just look. So feminine, so pretty, just dainty and beautiful. I thought it was perfect for this look. So I will list those down below. And then I'm going to prep my face using these, using the Smashbox Primer Water. Drench myself because I can never get enough. And then I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my brush. I am using the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki because it's one of my faves. And then I am using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in shade 123. The reason I spray some Fix Plus on my brush is because it kind of helps to sheer out the foundation and moisturize my skin as I'm applying it. So it makes it so that I don't get cake face because I can definitely be heavy handed with my foundation. So if you wet your brush first, even if you wet it with just a little bit of water, It'll make it so that your face does not get overboard cakey and you can keep your foundation more on the sheer side. Same with the beauty blender that I'm using right now. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I am just tapping it out with a damp beauty blender and using a damp beauty blender will do the same thing and make your concealer not too heavy. Then I'm going to go in with the Chanel bronzer and I am using a Sigma F86, I believe, to apply this. I did not want to contour my cheeks. I just wanted to bronze my cheeks because again, I didn't want this look to be too over the top or too intense. So I am just going in with a cream bronzer, putting this kind of all over the cheek area, all over the temple area, and I will leave the under eye area, the chin, the nose, and the center of the forehead untouched. But kind of everything else, I'm just dabbing it with bronzer just to give it a really nice kind of healthy sun-kissed glow as opposed to like a structure structured contour you know what I'm saying it's just a little bit more feminine then I'm just going to set my under eyes because they will crease if I do not set them so I have to set my under eye no matter what I'm going to be filling in my brows using the Anastasia brow wiz in the shade taupe and I'm filling in my brows differently today than normal, which I think I'm going to start doing it like this from now on. I'm only filling in the lower part of my brow and I'm not touching the top of them and they look much more natural this way. Then I'm going to be going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. And I'm going to put this bad boy all over those cheekbones. This is my favorite highlighter. If you are looking for a highlight that's going to look natural, there's no glitter. It honestly just looks like you are glowing from within. I recommend it to all brides. I think it's beautiful. There is a powder with three different shades I highly recommend that it is just gorgeous especially if you're trying to go for a look like this then I'm going in with makeup geek blush in the shade head over heels this is kind of a shimmery icy baby doll pink and I'm just going to put that all over the cheek area just to give a really nice feminine pale cheek then I'm going to take a little bit of natural beauty shadow and on a pencil brush just put a tiniest tiniest amount underneath my eye area because I just felt like I looked too blank and too squinty. I just wanted a little bit of a shadow. You'll see it really didn't make that big of a difference though. And then I'm going to go into my inner corners with Super Mom again and then you could even take some highlighter and put it in there but I just wanted to make my eyes look a little bit brighter. Then I'm going to finish off this look using ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Bound which is one of my favorite favorite colors right now it's such a pretty baby doll pink and I'm gonna set everything with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and then I took a look at myself and I was like wait a second I want a little bit more pink on these lips so I used OCC Digitalist I believe it's called because this is a super baby doll pink which I love and I tapped that on the center of the lid and just blended it out and once I did that my look was done so I hope that you guys enjoy happy Valentine's Day to you I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon bye to chill myself. Let me just say the word chill has a whole new meaning once you get into the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray because someone's like, you need to chill. And I'm like, girl, I know.